A little talk about the wheat market uh, today with, the, with an emphasis on potential food security uh, as a uh, positive force for wheat prices. Some examples recently, palm oil, global vegetable oil industry participants were in shock recently with the news that uh, Indonesia was banning palm oil uh, exports onto the world market until their internal prices came down. Uh, prior to the ban, Indonesia, by far and away the biggest exporter of vegetable oil in the world, 28 million tons expected this year. Uh, Indonesia, uh, Argentina is the number one soybean oil exporter in the world at just 5.9 million tons. In the cotton market, as another example, India is the largest producer of cotton in the world and fears that India could temporarily ban exports in order to improve the supply uh, of, for local, for users. Uh, if India suspends cotton exports, even temporarily, other world buyers may need to turn to the U.S. both cotton uh, veg, well, soybean oil to an all-time high and cotton up to some very high levels here recently on these food security scares. For the wheat market, traders are somewhat concerned over the possibility that India will become concerned enough with food security that they will ban wheat exports, uh, which have already been arranged for key local customers. In fact, India by the USDA expected to export 8.5 million tons of wheat this year from 2.56 million last year and 510,000 tons just two years ago. India has been experiencing a historic heat wave for the second month in a row. After the hottest March in 122 years, India now experiencing the hottest April uh, in over a century. In fact, there are one forecast for the coming days that temperatures could reach 49 degrees Celsius. That'd be 120 degrees Fahrenheit. July Kansas City wheat support coming in 11.26 and a quarter with 12.35 as next resistance. Thank you, Terry Rogensack, coming to you from the CME Group.